Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing a random collective love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of you, so just take what does resonate, toss out the rest, okay? Don't try to force anything. And thank you so much everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. You guys just show me so much support, and I love you for that. Thank you so, so much. Um, you, you just, you don't know how much that means to me. It means the world to me. Thank you so much for your support. Yeah, see? Anyway, um, Divine, what do you have for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective today? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, you're about to get some kind of news from somebody. Um, I got to say, I'm, I'm not so sure it's your person. I feel like your person is sending somebody else in to tell you that they want to reunite. That's literally the, fir the, the feeling that I'm getting because this person is kind of too afraid to dip their toe in the water. They're too scared. Look at the look on their face. Look at that. Look at those eyes. This person's too afraid to dip their toe in and see for themselves, uh, to come for themselves here. So I feel like they're sending somebody else in, possibly somebody younger. Um, doesn't have to be, though. I feel like, uh, yeah, this person here is coming to tell you that this particular masculine wants to get back together with their earth angel. Okay? Yeah, uh, I feel like they see you as the one. And this person, I feel like f a lot of fear is holding this person back from coming towards you themselves here. Um, yeah, I feel like they're afraid this could be over. I feel like th they want this new beginning in love here with you. Collective. Uh, you could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Uh, heavy on water out here, guys, and whoever is coming towards you, I'm definitely feeling a completely different energy here. I don't think it's your person coming towards you. I think they're sending sending somebody else in to tell you. It's like they're just too scared. They're afraid of rejection here. They're afraid to be told that it's over because they don't know how they're going to deal with losing you. Okay? They don't know how they're going to deal with that. Um, yeah, this devil energy. I feel like they've been in something toxic here. Clarify this devil. Clarify the devil. Yeah, I feel like they've been in something toxic, and I feel like they found out that the person that um, they were with in this, in this toxic situation has somebody new. They're feeling very betrayed. Yeah, they've got somebody new here. You guys know, I don't know if you know me real well. Um, for those of you who know me, who've been with me for a while, I, I most of the time I do see this as a new person. Okay? And I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like whoever they're with has someone new. They feel very betrayed. I don't, you know, honestly, I think they're hiding how they feel. I feel like they know but they're not quite out of the situation yet. And it's almost like they're hiding how they feel about it, right? Holding the lantern up like they can see it all. Um, but um, yeah, they're hiding this under their hoodie. And they're, they're, I feel like they're just kind of shattered right now. And they're trying to get a word out to you, a word out, right? A word out to you that they want to get back together but they're not actually coming forward themselves right now because they're dealing with the heartache and betrayal of being cheated on possibly by a queen of swords energy and I feel like you're moving forward here you're moving on this was something that this I feel like this queen of swords did to kind of get revenge uh, that situation is coming down and your person wants to walk away to go to you. 
Yeah, this masculine, they know that they're being cheated on here. And I feel like it was whoever their karmic partner is, it's they wanted revenge because they know that this masculine wants you. So now this masculine feeling betrayed with ten swords in their back, right? Unable to sleep because they're stressed out thinking about you. They're, they're walking away from that karmic situation. I feel like, though, they're still hiding like how they feel about it. Maybe they're trying to find a good way to walk away. I don't know what they're doing here. They're hiding something. They're hiding how they feel. Hermit energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo, um, Scorpio, Gemini. This person has a decision to make in love too. See, they can't stop focusing on you. You're the connection that they want. And this is the connection that's coming to an end here. Something here is coming to an end. I feel like it's both. I feel like you're moving forward. I feel like this karmic wanted to hang on to this masculine until you were out of the picture and moving forward and moving on. Then they cheated with them with somebody new. That's really the feeling that I'm getting here. And this person now feels very betrayed because they lost the one that they want. They lost their earth angel. You could be a Sagittarius, Gemini, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Your person could be a Virgo, Scorpio. They could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm just, you know, just for confirmation, right? Yeah, this person, they feel duped. They, they gave to the wrong person and they left you empty-handed, thinking that you weren't going to be able to bring enough to the table. But you know what? You gave them the best love ever. I feel like you brought more to the table than this person freaking realized. They, they didn't know your worth and your value. They underestimated you. And I feel like this was all about money, too. Money being provided for. Yeah, this masculine, um, they feel very betrayed. Very betrayed. I feel like there's going to be a huge fight here between them. Okay, what else can you show me here? What is this hermit thinking about? What are they thinking about? What is the hermit here for? What are they thinking? I heard what were they thinking. Yeah. What is this person thinking about? They're thinking about you. Um, they're thinking about they may need to find the strength to come towards you too because I'm honestly, that's what they need is strength to come and talk to you themselves. They're sending somebody else in to tell you they want to get back together. They're not doing it themselves. They're too scared. They're too scared. I feel like they're afraid that you're, you're going to reject them. They don't know what to expect. You haven't been talking to them. You've been standing in your boundaries and you're, you have integrity. And I feel like you were the only one in the situation who did. And, I, you know, this person, I feel like um, they want to try to find a way to heal things with you. I feel like um, you've been divinely led and protected. Definitely divinely led, okay? You could be a Leo, Taurus, Aries. What is this person thinking? What is this person thinking? Yeah, making some kind of plan. I feel like they're thinking about how they betrayed you, how they uh, had in and out energy, how they lied, how they put you in a third party, um, broke your heart, broke your trust, how they're going to get that trust back, how they waited too long when they should have come sooner. They're thinking about all of this. Give me, yeah, thank you. How they want to heal things with you. You know, they know that they've had you in a mental mind trap here about this. Sitting here, thinking about it. Well, I, I feel like they had control of this boat. 
They could have come in and said anything to you, anything at all, but they didn't. They chose not to. And, and they stayed in a, a toxic situation for way too long, and now they've been cheated on. They've been, uh, they've been used for money. They lost out on an earth angel, uh, possibly, um, definitely a blessing in love here, and a, possibly a divine feminine, right? Twin flame soulmate connection here. So, yeah, this is all that they're thinking about. They've got a lot on their mind, people. They've got a lot on their mind. And uh, so why are they sending in this page? And they waited too long to talk to you, by the way. Maybe that's it. They're nervous. They've waited too long to talk to you. They haven't heard from you. They don't know if you'll talk to them or not. So I feel like there's a mutual friend or maybe a, a kid, somebody, a possible family member, somebody you know that's going to come in and t give you the news for them. Because they're afraid to face you. They're afraid to face you. They're feeling ashamed, embarrassed, hurt. Yeah, but hurt. They're pouting. They know they're missing an opportunity here. And they treated you like the other person, okay? Um, yeah, and I feel like they also know that you're... Um, you're taking control of your own life here, grabbing a hold of that wand. Like, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm not going to allow people to play games with me. I know my worth and I know my value, even, even if this person did it. You know what? I, I wanted to say something there, guys. You know, fill in the blank with your own cuss word. Blank that, right? F that. I am going to have my own new beginning, okay? I'm going to go and I'm going to be happy because, dang it, I deserve it. Uh, you're a warrior queen here. You could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, heavy on Sagittarius here. Um, but, yeah, you're going after your, your own happiness. Um, yeah, this person missed out. I, I feel like you're just not... Yeah, you kind of don't want to deal with them anymore here. What action are they going to take? And that's what it is. That's why they send in this somebody else. Okay, that's why. They send in somebody else to deal with you to see if you'll even turn your head in their direction. And they sit here and wait for an answer. Okay, they want a new beginning. They want a new beginning, but I feel like you're not talking to them. Okay, so is there anything else you can tell me for the collective? Please, Divine, is there anything else you can tell me? Bossing up, yeah. This person needs to boss up a little bit. I feel like um, they're scrunched up in a little tiny ball, protecting their heart, wanting this new beginning, still kind of juggling. They need to boss up. This person, you could be dealing with the Taurus, Aries, um, uh, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, they could be focusing on their money, focusing on their money right now. Try, I'm here and wait till I get my money right. Yeah, um, they could be focusing on a business or a job here, trying to build up their finances. I feel like this person has given so much to this uh, Queen of Swords energy that they may barely have anything left. And this is somebody who wants to get their money right. They want to have their finances straight when they come towards you. Okay? So I feel like right now they're focused on their money. And if they're committed, they're focused on a divorce. And they're trying to get the word out to you that they want to get back together, okay? I really feel like someone else that you know is going to approach you here um, to give you this news for them, I got to say. See, look, they're still peeking up over this card. I'm telling you, they're sending somebody else in to talk to you for them. 
while they deal with um, a possible divorce and a, a very painful ending being cheated on, you know, by a karmic, right? I think that's kind of the wrong approach, I got to say. I feel like this person needs to have the gonads enough to step it up and approach you themselves. But that's, you know... I feel like that's kind of what they're being told, too. They kind of need to boss up because they're kind of too scared here. But I'm also sensing them wanting to work on their money and get everything in order so that they can come in and make you a decent offer. Maybe they have to, maybe they have to focus on their pentacles and everything right now because there's a divorce. They may have to try to hang on to whatever they can. Because this person could have lost a lot or will lose a lot in a divorce. They want to say, I'm, I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. Your silence feels safer to me. I don't want to get hurt again. I feel like that's, yeah. Look at, that's what you're seeing back to them. I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. And you're like, um, you know, your silence feels safer. I don't want to get hurt again. I'm in love with you, and I'm ready to take action. I want to build a happy life with you. No one ever loved me again the way you did. I never appreciated you until you were gone. I'm haunted by us. I didn't follow my heart, and now I don't know how to let you go. I still have dreams about you and our happy times together. My heart always comes back to you, even when I don't want it to. I feel like that's what you're saying. They're saying this, and you're saying this. Right? Your silence feels safer. I don't want to get hurt again. But my heart always comes back to you, even when I don't want it to. Yeah. Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for this quick reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, um, click the like button, right? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.